right guys I'm back for uh, part two I got a bunch of stuff sitting here um, some of it will go in my bag here some of it won't um, but uh, I wanted to you know go back up to the last video here um, I showed you all the batteries and stuff that, uh, that I'm taking but uh, I also am taking these two flashlights uh, one's a little bit different than the other but uh, they're both survival flashlights so and it's always nice to have a flashlight or whatever but um, but you know this this one here uh, not only is a flashlight uh, you can charge it up and use it as uh, to charge your phone or something if you needed to so um, this one also uh, I didn't ask for this part but uh, it just happened to come with it. it was actually given to me but this this flashlight is actually called a thug buster and uh, you know what that means so take that this one here is similar but different than that one this one does not have the taser part uh, this one does not have a um, solar panel so this one here is strictly uh, you have to charge it you know via outlet um, this one here is is more of the survival flashlight does not have that taser part but uh, it has many different features not only can you uh, solar panel uh, but you can also uh, you can charge it on a wall outlet but you can then you can also uh, charge your phone with it it has a uh, USB uh, so it comes in handy then and, and then some of the features it, this is very very bright and I really do not want to shine it in your eyes. It is very, very bright. It will light up everything when you turn it on outside. So uh, then the top lens removes as a magnifying glass if you needed to start a fire. Uh, again, it's a survival flashlight. If that doesn't work, it also has a little uh, metal ball on the end here. If you was in a car, break a windshield. Uh, never know when it might come in handy and then you take the back off and it has a little bit of a uh, it looks like a taser but it's not it's actually for starting fire but uh, there's a little button on there I don't know if you guys can see that purple that is for starting fire so it is it is multi purposed mainly my use for it when I go on motorcycle trips or whatever is the flashlight because it is really bright really bright but I always take those okay um, I want to I want to kind of go from that into I you know I have heard I don't agree with it you know I've been to Sturgis three times Th this year will be my fourth Daytona apparently don't allow I guess riding vests of some sort you know it, and I mean you know I've I don't like it but you know not that I wear it all the time but I usually do do wear it um, and I don't I'm not a member of a, of a motorcycle club or anything uh, I have friends locally that I ride with and that's it and I have you know I do have my cut I think that's what they call that no cuts you know in Daytona you know allowed to wear a cut in some place but uh, this this is pretty much my riding vest and yes I am going to take it uh, so uh, I did want to point out a few things all these are new additions and for you guys from Sturgis you know the Cool Whip so there it is there's the Cool Whip so then I want to go from that to some of you know some of you do not but uh, in October uh, I lost my best friend So that goes. I lost him to COVID. And it fucking sucks. He's 51 years old. But anyway, let's get away from that. Um I'm going to take five shirts. I'm going to buy shirts down there. 
So again, this is a privilege of uh, trailering down. You know, I don't. If I if I was riding, I'd probably take two. But I'm taking some extra shirts. I'm I'm really not going to load up on a bunch of shirts when I'm down here. So I I got five in there. That should cover me. Again, I talked to you about the towels. Uh, I'm going to take a couple regular household towels. Uh, along with my microfiber towel um, these are my cut all right so I had to take a timeout somebody was at the door so um, the I take my flip-flops uh, mainly for the shower uh, yeah I wear these in the shower for numerous reasons and I'm telling you if you've ever been to these rallies and you stay at these campgrounds and their showers are questionable make sure you take some flip-flops you want to take your flip-flops this bag here is not completely full yet uh, this is pretty much my uh, uh, personal hygiene bag you know I got my soap and toothpaste in there and shampoo in there right now travel size stuff uh, obviously everything else is going to go in here from the toothbrush and uh, deodorant and stuff like that which I'm still using so that's not going to go in the bag yet um, uh, I have a, a, a half helmet uh, it's sitting on the bike right now but uh, I usually wear that uh, for normal I should say non rainy days but I am going to take my full face helmet because if there's a chance for uh, rain, um, then I will I will use my full face. It, it's just much easier to try to navigate while having my my full face helmet. Um, my rain gear actually still needs to go in the bike in the saddlebags, but uh, don't forget your rain gear. It is Florida. And the 4, the 4 p.m. Uh, rain that comes through there every day, you might need this if you're on your bike. But uh, that's not going in the bag. That goes in the bike. Uh, the, these uh, here, one will go in the bag. The other one will not because I will need a jacket when I leave here Saturday. And... This is a heavy duty uh, hoodie. Um, it is very, very warm. It's heavy duty. I did. With this and my other jacket, it's almost like a winter coat. So, you know, I can take one off, put the other one on, whatever, and uh, cross my fingers. I hope I'm okay. But uh, this one, this one will go in the bag. I probably won't be using this on the way down there. And then and then this is the other jacket I would put on top of the hoodie. It's my Harley jacket. And this is actually kind of thin, but it still it does the job. I'm still using this one so it's not going in the bag. Um, if I got any more, there might be a third video on this, but uh, as of right now, that's all I can think of. I can tell you, I got new medicine and everything. So this is another thing you guys want to make sure you don't forget. Don't forget if you're on, if you did take medicine, you know, high blood pressure, you know, uh, cholesterol. If you're diabetic, which I am now a diabetic, gotta take all that stuff. Don't forget it. You know, don't want to be 500 miles from home and uh, forgot. So. Yeah, and I gotta take my meter and everything else and keep track of all that when I'm down there. So that completely blows. But uh, it is what it is. So uh, share, like, subscribe. Uh, hopefully this will be a awesome event. Uh, don't forget Patreon. Uh, right now there's nothing on there for Daytona. But if you're interested in the Sturgis stuff, the stuff that's on Patreon is not meant for YouTube. I warn you, it is not meant for YouTube, but it's worth it. It's only $3. Get on there and subscribe to that. 
you will be happy you did. So check you out here a couple days. See you in Daytona. Uh, I'll, I'll probably will make another video because I want to tell everybody where I plan on going. So take it easy.